Snap your fingers, do your stamp. You can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Yay! And it's kind of dry too, you know? I feel like I need to deep condition it. What's up guys, it's Tari, nice to see you again. So I'm back very quickly just to do a quick haul video. Um, I did just get back from being out and about. So if you guys see any indications, like any lines or anything, it's because of the mask, as you guys know. This is a new way of living. I did do some shopping at NYX. I did do shopping at Sephora, bought one item, and then I did do a back to Mac one item. First, just to start, in case you guys are wondering what's on my nails. So these are my nails this time around. If you guys are wondering about the brown that I used, I used this color by Vanellisa, and it is number 45. Okay, and this is the shade. I'll annotate the video that I did with the nail foil for the Gucci, the Prada, the Dior, whatever. I'll annotate the video right here so you guys can check it out if you guys have time. Okay, so did make a purchase at NYX. Um, I mostly got skincare stuff. So there's nothing, actually I'm gonna start with MAC just because the lipstick that I'm wearing is MAC and etc. So if you guys are wondering about the lip liner, the lip liner is from LA Girl, it's in the shade Toast. And the lipstick I got is called Sweet No Sugar. And it is a, it's matte, but it's the moisture matte. I think, I believe it's a new line. I don't follow MAC that much anymore, so you guys let me know if this is, an, if this is a new line, quote unquote, but. I wanted like a pinky nude type of shade to go with a lip liner and this is what I got. So I kind of like it. I feel like it could have been a little bit lighter just for what I was going for, but this is really, really nice too. So once again, this is called Sweet No Sugar from MAC. It is a matte lipstick, but it's matte moisture, okay? The next thing I got, I got something from Sephora. I got the new Born This Way um, concealer. I got it in the shade Cookie. Cookie is very light for me. When I was doing my makeup this morning. It is really, really light. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell right now in my camera, but it is very, very light. So I am gonna exchange it. I'll swatch it for you guys so you guys can see. Um, for reference, um, for MAC, I'm an NC47 for reference. And this is in the shade Cookie. Okay. And it is just, it's just way too light, especially with my setting powder being being light. My setting powder is not translucent. So because of that too, it just adds to how bright it is. So now we're moving on to NYX, right? This is my next order. Okay, I did get a few things. I really didn't get anything crazy. Um, I just wanted to try some of their skincare products, like just their basic um, face wash and face scrubs and everything like that. So NYX had their friends and family sale and it was 30% off the price, the first product I got. Now, I don't know if this is a new line of theirs for NYX, but it's called the Stripped Off. I don't know if it's a new line or something like that, but I did get the cleansing oil. I got the cleansing oil because it is oil-based. When I find that when I wash my face, my face is a lot, my face is very dry every time I wash it. So I wanted to try the cleansing oil to see how that helps. I also got the cleansing salt scrub i wanted to try another exfoliator type of thing so i did get this i haven't opened it yet it comes sealed which is great and i also got the whipped charcoal cleanser i do know that sephora they used to have this charcoal mask i think that they still have it every time i want it it's sold out i like the the charcoal mask from sephora so i figured i'll give the cleanser a try and see how that goes i got the oil cleansing face wash for eight dollars i got the charcoal for eight dollars and i got the um exfoliator for 750. oh never mind i think that i think this was 50 this was 50 percent off so the sorry let me start over the salt scrub was 50 percent off so this was 750 and so was the the charcoal the charcoal cleanser was also 50% off. Regular price is 16. And then the cleansing oil was 30% off. So it was 9.45 from 13.50, okay? That's what I got. I did end up getting two of the NYX um, matte finish face sprays. I don't know why I got the mini. I should have just gotten the bigger bottle, but I just think that I'm so accustomed to getting the mini that that's kind of just what that's just kind of what it is. And that's just kind of how it ended up. So I did get the finishing spray, the matte finishing spray. 
And then I did get two of the cleansing balms from NYX. I know that this is a dupe for the Clinique cleansing balm. I kind of want to get away from makeup remover. I kind of want to get away from the cotton pads. I kind of want to get away from all that. I just want to be a little more eco-friendly. So I did get this. I get two of the, two of those. Ugh. I got two of these and one was on sale for, let me see. The bomb was on sale for $8, original price 16, so 50% off. So I got two for $16 and the Clinique um, the Clinique bomb like this, it's $40 Canadian. So it's the same product. I've done my research. I looked at reviews. It just makes sense, so I bought it. And then as a little treat, they did throw in this little sharpener. I don't need it. I'll probably give it away for a gift from somebody, I guess. And that's pretty much all that I got, you guys. A very, very short video just to show you guys what I did get. Um, if you guys are wondering about this hair that I have, this is a... Um, it's a drawstring ponytail. It is human hair. Okay, I didn't get a chance to dye it black yet, but I am definitely gonna dye it black. And this is in 18 inches. I normally don't put my hair up in a ponytail to begin with just because I feel like, I feel like I kind of look like a little kid, you know what I mean? Which isn't a bad thing at all, but I just feel like I look like a little kid and I'm not used to looking like a little kid. Also, I'm used to having hair in my face all the time. Like I said, it's something different. It is something very, very different. I'm not, I'll get used to it. I think it still looks cute. I think it looks hella cute, but I'm just not overall used to it yet, you know? And it's kind of dry too, you know? I feel like I need to deep condition it. I need to deep condition this so that it gives more of a nice curl pattern, you know what I'm trying to say? But aside from that, if it was looking hydrated and moisturized like it should be, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, and yeah. And yes, 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 y'all. So um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later.